the time jesus said to the crowds no one can come to me unless the father who sent me draws him and i will raise him up on the last day it is written in the prophets and they shall be taught by god everyone who has heard and learned from the father comes to me not that everyone has seen the father except he who is from god he has seen the father truly truly i say to you i am the living bread that has come down from heaven your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and they died this is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat of it and not die i am the living bread that came down from heaven if anyone eats of this bread he will live forever and the bread that i will give for the life of the world is my flesh the gospel of the lord my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ we are christians we bear the name of christ we believe in christ as our lord and savior we relish his love warmth friendship and protection in our day to day lives and we are indeed proud to be christians are we not yes we are but my question is our call to be a christian is it by chance or by the will of god the answer is it is the will of god that we should be christian dear friends in today's gospel jesus tells us that no one can come to me unless the father who has sent me draws him it is the will of the father through the holy spirit that we should come to his son and have faith in the only begotten son of god that is jesus it is through the sacrament of baptism that we come to believe in the triune god the father son and the holy spirit it is the sacrament of baptism that washes away our sins and makes us the children of the household of god and the members of the church but we may ask what is the duty and onus as the official members of the church firstly we need to be attentive to the voice and the will of god in our life in today's first reading we see saint philip hearing a command from the angel of god and moves from jerusalem to gaza not even raising a question what should i do and how should i go about he just goes to the place where he was instructed to go because he knew that the will of god is not in vain the will of god will surely come to fruition and fulfillment through him so he was very attentive to the voice and will of god in his life as baptized members of the church we are also called to be attentive to the voice and will of god in our day to day lives and bring it to fruition with the grace and the gift of the holy spirit in our life secondly we are called to be the zealous missionaries of the word of god in today's first reading we see the ethiopian eunuch displaying his great interest in reading the word of god and meditating on it and above all trying to decipher and understand the depth and meaning of the word of god when he fails to understand the depth and meaning of the word of god saint philip being inspired and filled with the holy spirit comes comes to his aid and explains the whole scripture and makes him understand decipher and the word of god when he is really filled with the word of god he at once says i want to get baptized and he is baptized at once he goes and proclaims this word of god and becomes a zealous missionary of the word of god dear friends we are also called to be zealous missionaries of the word of god during the time of a baptism 
at the time of a baptism the celebrant touches the ears and the mouth of the child saying may the lord jesus who made the dumb deaf ear and the dumb speak may soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to speak his word to the praise and glory of god the father dear friends as we are going to partake in this eucharistic celebration let us ask for one grace that we may be attentive to the voice of god in our life and may become zealous missionaries of the word of god to be zealous missionaries of the word of god we need to be imbued with the grace and the strength of the holy spirit that will come to us only through the holy eucharist because jesus is present here he is the living bread that has come down from heaven he has come to give us life life in abundance let us pray for this grace so that we may be attentive to the voice of god and be zealous missionaries in our day-to-day -day lives. Amen.